Hello, I am Dagonus from the Skyrim Nexus and welcome to my sixth tutorial and we shall be going over locations and encounter zones and adding them to our dungeon. Uh, essentially what an encounter zone is, it, it dictates the leveled items to your character, um, basically, in short. Um, and the location is um, well, pretty much self-explanatory there. But I mean, it's not imperative, important, but to add them. But if if you want to comp uh, make a dungeon f uh, fully complete with, with minimum amount of bugs, then you obviously have to go through the works, as it were. So what we need to do is do to do. If I can find it. Do, do, do. Of course, as usual, file data, make sure Skyrim.esm is checked and the dungeon we're working with is checked. Sorry about that, here we go. So first of all, click on location in the world data. In this area, click um, new. And it comes with this box. What you want to do is just go and add an ID. So I'm just going to AA test location. And I'm going to call it um, test dungeon. And in this um, keywords, you'll want to right click new and set lock. No, lock set, set. And you want to go and add either cave or Nordic ruin. So I'm just going to go set location as Nordic ruin. And then you press OK, and that's your location done. And then you want to go and to the encounter zone, which will dictate the leveled items and leveled characters uh, <coughs> corresponding to the uh, player character's level, of course. So in this area, just click on any of them, right click new, and ID, I'm just a test ink, ink for encounter. Let's make the minimum level four. So it's gonna be a bit hard if you're below level four. And let's make the max level, uh, let's just do it as 100, so it goes up with the character. Now, if you want it to make, uh, if you want to make it so you can uh, go in and it's all leveled from level one onwards, you wanna click on the match PC below min level. Uh, and you want to set this location box here to the location we've created so they're sort of intertwined with one another and let's just click on our live loop well that did quite work press close and press ok and there's our location and encounter zones made it's pretty easy so what we're going to do now is add it to our dungeon so find our dungeon in the cell view window right click edit and it's all come here so you just want to go in and into this location bit here add test location and get and go to interior data and add the encounter zone as well and there we have it our dungeon has now has a location and an encounter zone. So thank you for watching and in the next tutorial we shall be going over nav meshing. I'll see you shortly.